Grand Rising. I want to welcome you to another episode of Max Crypto News, where we talk about these intangible coins at all time family. Listen, if you're not subscribed to BitMax on YouTube, I need you to hit that subscribe button, family. I need to make sure you make sure that you hit that subscribe button. If you like the content, give a thumbs up. If you want to be notified whenever I go live, hit that notification bell, family. You hit these things, and if you like the video, leave a comment. You know, comments are welcome. You know, I really appreciate when people leave comments and give me feedback, so it lets me know what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong, right? So with that being said, family, um, you know, now I'm offering a class on yield farming and providing li liquidity. So to teach you how to make residual income every day, get paid every day on the clock, residual income, and get paid up to $100 an hour, depending on how much you invest. It all depends on what you put in. But I'm offering that class now. Um, you send me an email at maxcryptonews at gmail.com or you can email me at bmac252.sf at gmail.com you send me an email i will send you the information and get you signed up to show you how you can start making this money right now using on DeFi and make this residual income right now as we speak family right um, with that being said, you know, I've been promoting freedom of North Carolina because I'm in it. We coming June 10th, 2021. Um, so, you know, if you're interested, go follow us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube and, you know, just keep up and look for freedom of North Carolina. Right. So with that being said, we're going to jump right in family. We're going to go straight to the news. We're going to go to we're gonna go to the market first. Let's start off with the market, like always, right? So we can see the total market cap is at one trillion five hundred and seventeen billion dollars. Bitcoin had a minor pullback. It's at forty nine thousand four hundred and forty eight dollars. Um, down four point um twenty one percent. Um. Let's go look at the chart real fast. Let's see what the chart looking like. Um, see what's going on. Let me minimize this a little bit. Get out the way. Okay. So let me um that's the 30 minute. We're gonna look at the one hour. See what we can see. See what we can see. Minimize and bring this down. All right, so bring this down. So you can see after we touch these lines, we bounce. And yesterday, Bitcoin got to fifty-two thousand six hundred eighty dollars. Well, 52, we got over 52,000. Um, we had a minor, just a little minor pullback. But basically, remember I said Bitcoin probably need to move sideways. And that's what it's doing. It's waiting for the Fed to come out, these stimulus checks to get passed, um, the Fed to make their own um, statement on the bond yields. And that's going to dictate what's about to happen. Um, but you can see we had a bullish cross. And we can see that the 34 and the 13 has crossed again and now we're again this is a this is right now is a bearish cross uh, we sit right here on a 290 day moving average well we, under that we had got above it which we need to get back above um but right now we're under it um the price is moving sideways family the market is trying to decide on the news from the fed that's going to dictate in this stimulus package it's going to dictate a lot right now. Um, and, but this is what we see in the market. But still, it still was a healthy recovery. 
from the $42,000 that it's dipped down to. So we still in a nice, healthy recovery the way I see it, family, right? So let's take it to um, Pi Network. Y'all know I've been offering Pi. So I'm gonna give- The future of money is evolving rapidly and no one wants to be left behind. Mining Bitcoin is time and energy intensive, requires extensive physical resources and advanced technical knowledge. Introducing Pi, the first and only digital currency you can mine on your phone. That's big. This novel approach developed by Stanford PhDs allows you to mine cryptocurrency on your phone by leveraging your existing social connections with no cost and no battery drain. Have a phone? You've got Pi. It's time to join the revolution. Download Pi today for Apple or Android and get your piece of the pie. Yeah, family. So um, if you interested in getting Pi, um, if you interested in getting it, it's a link in the description. Make sure you put um, Max Crypto News as your referral code, and we all gonna mine pie together. Next year, around this time, when pie hit, hit the bar, we will have a head start. We will have some, and we can sell our pie, or we can wait for the price of pie to go up, right? That's just something we can sit back and wait on, right? So let me get back to coin market cap, see what's going on. You got Ethereum at $1,563.45. Um, down a little bit. Cadano down a dollar seventeen, down almost six percent. Binance coin at $238 is down um five percent. But you can we can see that Cadano and BNB has just surpassed Tether, and it might not be no catching back up for Tether. Tether might not get within the top three no time soon. Um, Polka Dot at thirty five dollars and ninety two cent. Getting close. Polka Dot is over the thirty two um, trillion billion dollar mark. Look like it. I don't know. It might be coming out to Tether too. XRP at forty five cent. Um, still looking good. Light corner, under eighty-four dollars is down four point thirty-three percent. Chain link down five percent, five point nineteen percent. Bitcoin Cash five hundred eighteen dollars and nineteen cent down three point ninety-two percent. Family, and you got Stella still holding holding on at forty-one cent. Um, it's down 3.52%. Um, that's the top 10 with Stella at 11. Uniswap at $28.43. Uniswap is up 5.64%. So um, market is a little bit down. Not that much, but it's down a little bit nonetheless. Um, and you know what I say with red days. If it's red, you might want to strengthen your position, right? So let's... Um, Go to a little bit of news, family. So um, I don't know if y'all been following on um, BitMex, BitMex, Arthur Hayes. Um, is a brother who made a lot of money with BitMex. And then, whenever you make a lot of money, Uncle Sam always find a way to come get you. They always find a way to come get you for something. It's always something you did. Either you don't pay taxes or you just done something wrong because the brother made a lot of money, right? So what's going on is that uh, him and one of his partners uh, are negotiating a surrender to the U.S. authorities, right? The U.S. The, um, authorities been after him for a little while. And it's just because, I mean, plain and common sense, the brother made a lot of money. And in America, you know how it go if you make money. I don't know. I I read a little bit into it. Um, from what I saw, the brother just he jumped on Bitcoin 
and he started his company. He done everything legit. I don't see what's the problem. But you know how it goes when it comes to money. So I'm gonna play this family. But uh, he is negotiating his surrender, him and his partner. So BitMEX's Arthur Hayes and Ben Dello negotiate surrender to US authorities. The former CEO of crypto derivatives exchange BitMEX, Arthur Hayes, is in negotiations to surrender to U.S. authorities next month concerning charges that authorities levied against four of the exchange's executives and co-owners in October. Transcripts of a court teleconference dated February 16 indicate Hayes will surrender to the U.S. and Hawaii on April 6. Hayes and his fellow executives are accused of violating the Bank Secrecy Act by the U.S. Department of Justice and the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The transcript details the assistant U.S. attorney Jessica Greenwood's comments to the judge presiding over the case, with Greenwood indicating she has been in talks with Hayes regarding the anticipated voluntary surrender. Hayes is currently located in Singapore, with the attorney noting Hayes hopes to continue residing abroad but will appear within the United States for proceedings should the trial go to court. We have discussed with counsel how to arrange for a voluntary surrender, and he has proposed appearing within the United States and Hawaii and having his initial appearance there and then she said, adding. The idea would be that he would appear initially in Hawaii, then appear before your honor remotely, and then he would continue to reside abroad with travel to the United States for appearances as needed and, of course, if there is a trial, that he would appear within the United States for that trial in New York. Greenwood also revealed that BitMEX co-owner Bendelo intends to surrender in New York by the end of the month. However, she noted they are currently working with the FBI and Border Patrol to obtain immigration authorization allowing him to travel to the United States, despite Dello currently being subject to a UK travel ban. The attorney also stated that while fellow co-owner Greg Dwyer has declined to surrender, extradition proceedings have been initiated to bring him back from Bermuda. With respect to the remaining three defendants, we've been in contact with counsel discussing the possibility of appearing. They've all made representations about for when and how they'll appear. Greenwood said. However, she added, We have no guarantees at this point that any of those things will happen. BitMEX CTO, Samuel Reed, was arrested in Massachusetts as the charges were being levied against BitMEX in October. Reed was released from custody after a $5 million bond was paid that same month, with Reed agreeing to comply with sentencing proceedings. In response to the hearing, the judge determined it wasn't reasonably possible for a motion and trial schedule to be established. The judge scheduled a follow-up conference for May. Last month, Hayes broke months of silence to post an article to BitMEX's official blog calling for a boycott of legacy finance in response to trading platforms shutting down trade amid the game's top pump engineered by subreddit, r slash wall, street, bets. So family, the key that y'all, that I'm listening to is, is that they're going to surrender and pending a trial so it seems like a settlement is already about to be. a settlement is seen like it's in order wherein you know the brother said that he would surrender right um but that he want to stay in hawaii <laughs> so he can go back in case you know but if it is a trial he will come so basically uncle sam won't damn money man that's just what it all boils down <laughs> to Call it what you want to call it. You say what you want to say. The bottom line, because Sam just want that money, bro. They just want their money. You made billion, bill, millions and almost billions of dollars, and they ain't get their money. And they want their money. You know how it go. The Hulk, the, the eagle got a sword, goddammit, it, right? The eagle got a sword. <laughs> they got them eagle eyes. They watching everything, right? You know what time it is. And they got to get that bread. So you don't eat. They going to get their bread. They coming after you to get that money. It's all about money. Right? So, hey, I feel. But um, if you, listen, y'all, if y'all want to read a little bit about the story, I post on one of my videos. I talked about it. But um, I'm going to see if it's a link right here. Nah, um, but it's a link, man. You research it. And you read up on it and see what happened, man. You tell me you see if anything illegally happened. Now I don't see that, man, but I will leave that alone. All right, man, our family, y'all know I've been promoting this GSX. I'm going to promote it until I get my own gold mines. I will promote this. Um, but, you know, if y'all want to get signed up for GSX, now understand GSX is owned by Apollo Fintech. So if you can't find permission on GSX, 
you go look up Apollo FinTech and see what they're talking about. And then you can kind of like get some information right. But let me play this video real fast. Introducing Gold Secured Currency, better known as GSX, the first of a new genre of currencies called growth coins. A growth coin combines all of the best elements of a stable coin, an investment coin, and a traditional cryptocurrency into one secured currency. The benefits. One, it's backed. GSX is trust backed by land rights and gold. The starting value has been set with the assets backing GSX, now with many large scale mines and refineries being added. These include a number of future alluvial and hard rock gold mines, copper mines, a tantalum mine, a nickel mine, and a lithium mine. 2. Trust Ownership GSX holders are the trust beneficiaries of all land rights. What this means is that even if something was to happen to Apollo Fintech, the assets would be sold and the proceeds would go directly to the holders of GSX. 3. Growth There will be a continual increase in the amount of mineral-rich land and gold backing of GSX. 50% of the metals mined after expenses and expansion will back GSX, so the asset value will grow constantly. The first year minimum asset goal is $7 billion, making the individual asset value 23 cents to the US dollar per GSX. Second year is $20 billion in assets, making the asset value 66 cents per US dollar per GSX. And the third year is $30 billion in assets, making the asset value $1 per GSX. This trend should continue along a similar pace. 4. Audited GSX Gold and Metal Reserves will be continuously audited by some of the most respected auditing firms such as BVA. 5. Dividends GSX holders are entitled to yearly dividends of 50% of all gold and metals mined and refined after expenses and expansion. 6. Coin Burn 50% of the 10 billion offered that is not sold in CDE will be burned. The value will move to the surviving GSX. 7. Redeemable GSX will be redeemable for its gold value, so it will help to maintain a more constant price. 8. Quantum Resistance GSX will be one of the first quantum resistant stable coins with the integration of the quantum steel cryptography algorithm. 9. Participation GSX is more than an investment. It's an experience. Holders will be able to visit and stay at the main mine at the GSX Visitor Center. They will be able to participate in elements of mining, such as testing out equipment, watching explosives, prospecting with the pros, testing, and many more experiences that offer the true gold rush thrill. Furthermore, the team is planning to put up 24-7 live feed cameras, allowing holders the ability to take part in the action from the comfort of their home. Gold secured currency is a new kind of investment. An investment that allows its holders the ability to watch their net worth expand, to collect profits, and even participate. Take part in the world's newest and most innovative financial tool and take part in history. So, Introducing you know, Gold Secured Currency. It's a link in the description. You come here right now, you get a 9% buying bonus. Um, Plus, if you use my link, you get an extra 5% buying bonus. And um, you can get signed up, man, um, with the GSX coin. Um, if you sign up and if you go up my page, you see how I show you. I, I got a video where I show you how to set everything up with the GSX coin. It's on my YouTube page. Just scroll up if you sign up. All right. Now, um, let's get back to some more news. Um. All right, so this is another article. It says one in five investors at firms that don't trade in crypto say they are likely to in the future. So basically, we can expect another influx of um, investors to flow into the cryptocurrency market. Um, it says a poll has found that 22% of institutional investors are likely to buy cryptocurrency in the future. But they're coming. They done started, they coming, they hearing about it, they watching it. So they coming, they coming to get involved and invest their money. So we beat them to the punch. So we already in here, right? So let them buy our bags. That's why when you pack your bags, when the newbies come in, let them buy your bags. <laughs> let them buy them, you take the profits, right? 
All right, but that's what's going on. Um, you have that. Also, um, all right, um, the Ripple, one of Ripple, Ripple's Chris Larson files motion to dismiss SC case over XRP sales, right? Uh, Larson is one of the owners of that was named in the um, SEC case. But Lawson lawyers say that SEC has failed to show he knowingly committed the any wrongdoing. So Ripple's executive chair has asked U.S. court to dismiss a U.S. and exchange commission lawsuit alleging security violations relating to the sales of XRP cryptocurrency. According to a legal matter, letter informing Judge Analyst Torres as at the U.S. District Court for Southern District of New York of a motion to dismiss. Lawyers say the SEC's amended complaint still fails to state a claim against Mr. Larson. Now, um, family, um, just a quick update on XRP. You know, XRP laid out their case and come to find out that um, it seems like Coinbase reached out to the SEC about listing XRP on its um, site. Coinbase reached out to the SEC to ask for clarity about XRP before they had it on their um, exchange. Coinbase reached out because they wanted to make sure they was in within compliance. And the SEC, at the time that they reached out, did not deem XRP as a security. And therefore, that's why Coinbase kept XRP on their exchange all along. This information came out um, when the two sides sat down. So what's interesting with this is that you have a exchange that clearly reached out to the SEC regarding XRP and it being a security. And the SEC told it did not say it was a security to this exchange. So now what you will have is that Coinbase will get drugged into this whole fiasco with XRP. And this is very interesting because if Coinbase get drugged into it, Coinbase is going to protect this brand to make sure they don't have to pay back money. So this is very interesting. The fact that uh, Exchange actually reached out to the SEC over XRP being a security and the SEC did not label it as a security is very damning to this case. Because basically it wasn't a security, but now it became one. That's very interesting. Um, very, very interesting. All right, that's very interesting. All right, so um, let's go back to the market real fast. Let's look at some of the top movers, gainers. You see chills of 50.80%. Engine coin, every time I see engine coin, I don't want to see it. I just don't talk to me about engine coin. I don't even want to see engine coin. I'm mad at engine coin. It's still going up. And you know what, family? That was my dumbness because the engine coin is what's running these NFTs. I remember when I first was looking into it, and it, and I I didn't I didn't grab the NFTs. I ain't afraid to admit it. I didn't think that they was gonna come out and be what they are. I didn't expect it, so I, I missed that boat, man. And I gotta live with that, man. Uh, all right, decentralized mana twenty eight point ninety seven percent. Hedra has group. 23.93%, flow up 19%. Um, Z swap. What's up? I want to talk about though. It's something up that I want to talk about. Tron. Tron and Clever, y'all. Tron is at five cents. This is starting to make its move, but Clever has made another all-time high. Where is it at? Let me, let me type this in. We're looking for Clever. Clever made a new all-time high yesterday, and I think they made another one. Yeah, okay. The all-time all high was two, uh, two cent, two hundred, two two million seven hundred fifty-two thousand satoshi. I might have said that wrong. 
But Clever is at two cent, getting ready to go to three cent. It's up 40.37%, right? And it's up 34.41%. Now, the thing about Clever is, Clever is about to be listed, y'all, on an exchange. Um, Hold on. I should have pulled this up. Um, we go to Clever Twitter. They about to be listed on... Um, what's the changes? They about to be listed. All right, Clever is listed on CoinX, CoinX, and on uh, um, CoinX. That's today. Yeah, Clever got listed today on Deposit Stars at 7 a.m. UTC time. Trading begins at 9 a.m. Listen, y'all. Now I told y'all about Clever, man. I told y'all about Clever when Clever won't even a penny. I said, do the one hundred dollars for the hundred k challenge. You spend a hundred dollars, you get a hundred k Clever. And if you would have done that, that hundred dollars would be worth over two thousand dollars right now in climbing. Of a hundred dollar investment. I said, and I didn't tell. Not only did I tell my students, I said this live on my YouTube channel. It was part of the one hundred dollars for hundred k challenge that I was doing back then. And Clever is mooning, family. Clever is moving. It's being enlisted on more and more exchanges. The more exchanges it's going to be listed on, the more money it's going to be worth, right? See, top performer cryptos on KuCoin.com. You got Swingbee, look at number two, Clever. You know, KuCoin, KuCoin um, was a big exchange back in the day, man. Um, you know, with the United States, they they heard a lot of stuff, man. Um, I just say that, man. But see, this was the all time high they had made, and I think we there right now. Like, so clever coming, y'all. Clever, we yeah, we about there right now. Clever is is about to be clever. I hope y'all got y'all bags, and I hope you get you some. It's clever coming. That's all I'm gonna tell y'all. And um, Tron coming too. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all something today. Tron coming too, family, right? All right, now listen. Now, ADA, Cardano uh, had 270 native tokens minute on Mary Upgrade. It was successfully activated. So when, it, when that hard fork happened, People went up there and made a lot of tokens. A lot of tokens was made. You got an Elon Musk token. <laughs> you got a lot of tokens that was made. Somebody just went up there and made a lot of tokens. And I guess they hoping that one day they can sell these tokens and they'd be worth something. Um, but, you know, after they they had a lot of them, right? And I'm not going to read all this because I'm not, this not a Cardano um, show, but just know that um, a lot of tokens was made, and the thing is, you got liquid finance that's coming, where it says 21 million L LQ governance tokens are live. So liquid finance is coming. This is their token, liquid finance. All right, this is going to be the token that you're going to be mining for, staking for, and you can get. But it's coming. DeFi is coming. It's coming fast, right? So with that. Um, you can come to this. It's something where you can look at the, the, uh, the blocks. And let me see. Let me see if I want to pull one up. Um, I, um, these are new blocks. Some I want y'all to see. Um, right. All right, so. This is the cool thing about Cardano and um, the blockchain in, in, in general, you can come and watch everything that's going on, man. All right, 
And I want to get to these coins that was made. You know what? I, I do that. I'm going to do that another time. But y'all, you can come here. You can watch everything. All the coins that's state. The state coins that's up here. Um, Yo, like, Cadonio is, is off the chain, y'all. That's all I'm going to say. Cadonio coming, family. All right, so... um. Now, y'all know I've been promoting Bankroll Flow, right? And Bankroll Flow is a way where you can get passive income. This is a way where you can make this free money every day. Passive income, right? So, I told y'all that you have a V1.2 that came out with Flow, right? Well, now, they have something called a B dollar, B dollar, B money, right? Now, this right here is BDO money is farming, finance, banking, all in one, right? So, now, when you come here, now you can connect your wallet and you can get 2% uh, interest and daily drip reward, rewards by depositing your BDOs here, right? Or you can um, you can come here and jump in here in these liquidity pools and get paid, right? You can come here and get paid, family, now. Now, again, I told y'all I'm offering a class. I will show y'all how to get involved. I will be your tour guide to teach you how to get this free money every day, y'all. Now, if you join the class, if you take the class, I'm gonna bring you here and I'm gonna show you everything. How you can get in with the banks. It's just like banking. You got shares, you want shares, you gotta pick your bank. You know what I'm saying? Look at 45X, look at that amount that's in locked in there, $53 million. You see that APR, it ain't that high. But when you got $53 million locked into something, it's worth it. Right, you got bonds. <laughs> and you got to explain how BDO, if it's over a dollar, how you can buy the bonds to help it stabilize itself if it's under. I teach that in the class though, right? They got a lottery, BDO lottery. Now this BDO dollar dot five is hooked up to Binance. It's on the Binance chain, y'all. You can come here, and it's a lot, family. So I will have a referral link in the description. I'm going to put my referral link. Um, you can use my referral link to get here, right? But if you want the tutorial to understand, now, you know, some people, you can do it on your own. Because I don't mind. But if you want somebody to help you so you know what you're doing, and hey, y'all take this class, man, right? Um, that's why I'm offering the class. Because I know you're going to make money. You make money every day. So not only can you make money on bankroll flow, because this is a product of bankroll. Like when you're on flow, you're on bankroll flow, you, um, this is a part of it. So all this is, this app is connected to bankroll flow, family. And you can see the total value that's locked in here. $148 million that's locked in this place right now. And you can see, <laughs> I just joined this. You can see family, right? But, um, you know, if you want to join, I will put the, uh, my referral link in the description. Uh, you use the referral code. You come here, you can sign up. If you want the tutorial to learn how to get it, easy, and right, take the class. Hundred dollar fee. Send the money to um. Cash out me the money, and we get started, family. Right. So, y'all know Freedom of North Carolina is coming. Um, but I appreciate y'all for watching this video, y'all. Um, I appreciate y'all that's been on the journey with me. Um, you know we detailing our journey in this crypto market. Um, we detailing our journey in this new intervene into. Uh, interventions you know this is a new market and you know people who invest early and stuff 
they get paid and, and they get to reap the benefits of investing early, right? So this is what we're doing. So I appreciate y'all for following me on this crypto journey, man. I hope y'all been riding the journey with me and I hope y'all been benefiting off this journey. I hope the information that you've been getting, you actually have been benefiting from and it has actually helped you make a little bit of money, right? Um, with that being said, family, peace. I love y'all. Why well, do?